So we've already seen it taking over ChatGPT, Google Bard, and all of these different types of apps that are defining the way we work. AI has been on the move and is simulating into all of our global systems and platforms. But then imagine a world where AI systems can think and reason like humans, solve complex problems, and even make decisions that we can't. This is a stuff of fiction depicted in pop culture from movies and TV shows, a time where everything is run by machines. If you're already thinking where we are today is crazy enough, just know that it's not over. AI is rapidly evolving and its ultimate endpoint is to reach a point of singularity. As such, scientists and researchers have noted down seven key stages of AI that provide a helpful framework for understanding the progress that lies ahead. In this video, I'll talk about the seven stages and understand what each stage is to help you see where we're headed and what's to come. But before I do that, make sure to like this video so that the AI algorithms of YouTube can share this video and subscribe to the channel if you have a chance. So the seven stages of AI. The very first stage of AI was actually implemented back in the 1950s. One of the earliest examples is what is known as the logic theorist, developed by Alan Newell, Herbert Simon, and J.C. Shaw in 1956. It's with this AI we were able to prove theorems by applying a set of rules. Of course, rule-based AI is the simplest form of AI. Just as the name implies, it is where systems are programmed with a set of rules to follow and simply put, does exactly that. Since the 1970s and beyond, we've been using many rule-based AI systems to solve a range of problems, forecast financial markets, and even help to play chess. Today, these rule-based AI systems are everywhere, governing how we move, communicate, and play. Some examples include spam filters. These filters are the ones used in your modern Gmail platform, where you get a set of rules to identify what type of emails are spam. And then this spam filter will then block out any emails containing certain keywords, such as free money. Then there's traffic light controllers. You can also see rule-based AIs in these streets. The systems control the flow of traffic with rules that gives pedestrians the right of way when pressing a crosswalk button. And then you can see rule-based AI in game engines. For example, a game engine might have a rule that says that a character falls to the ground when it is shot, a group of if-then statements. Overall, rule-based AI systems are often used for tasks that are well-defined and have a limited number of possible outcomes. Due to their straightforward response, they are relatively easy to develop and maintain. However, they also have some limitations. They can be inflexible and unable to adapt to new situations. The next stage of AI is what is known as context awareness. These systems learn from past interactions and use what knowledge to improve performance. Most AI systems in this stage began to become more prevalent in the early 2000s in the form of search engines like Google and Bing. Context awareness AI systems are often used for tasks that require understanding and responding to user context. Some notable examples are virtual assistants, apps like Siri, Alexa, or Google Assistant. Them learning from previous requests and then providing more relevant responses. Then there's the popular recommendation systems, which was popularized by Amazon, Netflix, YouTube. This is where content or items in a shop are recommended to you based off of the context of your previous browsing history. And then customer service chatbots like the ones you see on Facebook use a variety of context cues to then understand and respond to messages. And more advanced chatbots can then identify the user's IP address to know where they are chatting from and pass message history to know how to respond. The third stage of AI is domain-specific mastery. This is what goes a bit deeper than context and learns from a highly specific domain of knowledge. While these systems were worked on since the 2000s, it came into mainstream popularity from the early 2010s with examples like Google DeepMind AlphaGo. These AI systems are often trained on large data sets of data and from their specific domain. The AI then learns from the patterns, context, and relationships made throughout and make quite accurate predictions and decisions that may even triumph human decision-making capabilities. Some clear examples are financial forecasting. AI systems trained on historical financial data are able to learn from the patterns of the market and make predictive trading decisions that may be more precise and accurate than those of human traders. Then as I mentioned, the Google's DeepMind AlphaGo, back in 2016, AlphaGo beat the best Go player, Lee Sadol, by 4 to 1. For those who aren't aware of the game Go, it is played on a 19 by 19 board and so each move has an average of 250 distinct choices to be made. 
This demonstrates the complexity of each move and how advanced AlphaGo was to beat the best in mankind. Then there are also medical diagnosis systems. These systems were trained on large amounts of medical data and are able to then identify diseases and recommend treatments. And then automated cars like Tesla were trained on thousands of data sets on driving and these systems, these AI systems then drive with relatively fluidity and autonomy. Currently, domain-specific AI systems are still under development, but they are already having a major impact on many industries. The fourth stage, thinking and reasoning, is where we have currently reached at the start of 2020s. As its name implies, these systems can think and reason like humans. They can understand complex concepts, solve problems, and make decisions in the absence of complete information. Thinking and reasoning AI systems are still in the early stages of development, but there has been significant progress in recent years. Some clear examples of stage 4 AI systems include large language models, so clear examples like ChatGPT, Google Bard, where they can generate responses to questions, create text from scratch, and translate languages using large amounts of datasets on languages and information. And then there's generative AI, which with the right amount of prompts fed, generative AI systems can build images and artworks that you have never seen before. As we know, we are still in the early stages of thinking and reasoning AI. Large language model platforms like ChatGPT and Google Bard only have been released in the past year, and these systems have the potential to revolutionize entire industries as they advance more. We can leverage them to develop new and more effective suggestions, treatments, and personalized media experiences. In fact, we see it even today where a lot of art, music, and scripts for shows are being generated through the use of these thinking and reasoning systems. And next we enter the stuff of fiction. If we manage to advance further than the fourth and current stage, this then brings us to a point where we have artificial general intelligence or AGI. When this happens, AGI is expected to have intelligence at the same level of that of a human. It will be able to understand natural language without fail, solve problems and effortlessly, and even be able to have creativity. Although it is hypothetical, the moment AGI is here, many humans will and can be replaced by AI systems, as many tasks that we perform on a daily basis would be completely redundant. Moving even further out from there, the next stage of evolution for AI would then be what is known as artificial superintelligence, or ASI. If achieved, it would potentially surpass human intelligence in all areas. Superintelligent AI will be able to outperform some of the greatest, brightest minds in human history in every field from science, art, technology, and innovation. And then finally, the last stage and end goal for AI would be what is popularly called the singularity. This is a hypothetical point in time in which technological growth has become so advanced that humans are unable to control it or even try to reverse it. Initially popularized by author Ray Kurzel, he predicted that the point of singularity would be reached by 2045 based on the rate of acceleration of technology. However, technologists such as Elon Musk have predicted it to be much closer, even having gone on to say that at least 20 years away only. While the idea of singularity is still hypothetical, it is said that when we reach this point, AI will be able to improve its intelligence without human intervention completely autonomously, and as such, it will thus make its own decisions to advance itself forward and shape how society as well as human civilization will move. These days, many AI systems today exhibit characteristics of multiple stages. For example, a self-driving car might use rule-based AI for some tasks, such as following traffic laws, and machine learning for some other tasks, such as identifying and avoiding obstacles. From what we see now, we are currently at the period, the early stages of stage 4. We are beginning to get AI to understand complex concepts, solve problems, and create content that is almost on par with humans. Although it's not perfect and there are still rooms for improvement, it is worth noting that every passing year will mean that AI system will get smarter and better. So why should we know about these seven stages of AI though? While it may seem years or perhaps decades away, the fact that the matter is that AI is advancing at a rapid rate. In fact, considering we just entered stage four, it's only a matter of time until we get news that AGI is just around the quarter. It's worth knowing about these stages for plenty of reasons. Well, for one, the main ethical concerns. We need to start considering what it means to build an advanced AI responsibly and ethically. There are plenty of people who are leveraging AI tools to imitate other people, create scam videos using influencers' faces, and many other issues. Being aware of these stages prompts discussions about how to navigate these ethical changes. Then there's the idea of social impact. The development of AI is not just a technological advancement, it's a societal transformation. 
Being informed about these stages helps us engage in conversation and education to stay ahead. AI is already beginning to influence society in the form of deep fakes, AI voices, music creation, and many other ways. And then job disruption. We are already getting plenty of news headlines about how AI is replacing thousands of jobs right now. So imagine a world where as technology advances, the number of unemployment will only increase. And as we move into the future, it is said that the people who have a greater understanding of AI and digital systems will be the ones to actually thrive. So if you want to be one of those people that stay ahead, make sure to like this video so it can be spread to more people and subscribe to this channel as I continue to feed you more information on AI tools, tips and tricks to help you be one of those three to 5%